According to latest media reports, India has offered full transfer of technology of the Tejas Mark 1A to Egypt for local manufacturing, as well as re-export clearance and training of the local crew. The Egyptian Air Force is looking to procure 70 single-engine light combat aircraft for restarting its local aircraft production capacity, and Egypt has selected its state-owned company Arab Organization for Industrialization as the potential licensed manufacturer of the selected aircraft, and Egypt will officially announce the winner at the EDEX 2023 Defense Exhibition. A defense expert at the Egyptian Center for Strategic Studies has said, that it wouldn't be too much of a surprise if the deal goes to India, as Egyptian pilots have been historically trained by Indian Air Force pilots. He also said, that India was Egypt's choice for defense production for three main reasons. First there is an increased demand for this type of aircraft, and second that Egypt always works on the diversification of armament sources, and third is the possibility of full transfer of technology with re-export clearance. He also added, that this cooperation will reciprocate benefits to both countries, as Egypt is a gateway for the Middle East and North African defense market. At a time when Argentina has asked for no British parts on the aircraft offered in the competition, officials have said, that replacing the in-flight refueling probe on the Tejas Mark 1 with a different probe made by a different vendor, will require structural modification, as well as a change in the internal fuel pipeline system, that will require expensive redesign on the internals of the aircraft, and will need to go through a series of recertification trials. It is estimated to take nearly two years to find a new vendor and complete whole recertification trials, and can be accomplished only if Argentina is ready to wait for this capability to be enabled post-delivery. These additional expenses might need to be borne by Hindustan Aeronautics, which will cut into the profit margins of the aircraft since it is for a small order of 18 units. Officials of BrahMos Aerospace has said, that an advanced version of the BrahMos missile with a range of 1,500 km and speed of Mach 5 is under development, that will initially be a land-based variant, followed by ship and air-launched variant. There will also be a parallel development of lighter BrahMos NG variant for fighter jets and submarines. A long-range BrahMos 2 hypersonic cruise missile will also be a reality by 2025 to 2026. HAL has proposed to the armed forces that it will work on next-generation helicopters, which can be seen as a successor to the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter in 2035. The core research team of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has plans to work on two path-breaking helicopter programs that will see the use of coaxial rotor and tilt rotor propulsion. Talks with Army and Air Force officials on the incorporation of next-gen propulsions in the helicopters have been taken up, and low observable technology with fast acceleration and deceleration are some of the criteria that have been discussed. The tilt rotor helicopter program will be much more complex and will be used to develop a heavy lift class helicopter for the Air Force and the Navy. Eli Ratner, a senior Pentagon official has said, that the United States and India will co-develop drones, and India will build these drones and export them to other partners across the region, including in South and Southeast Asia at affordable price points. It will help India to diversify its weaponry, and also support India's own defense modernization goals, by developing its own defense industry. The DRDO is setting up an engineering flight simulator for testing radar system. While actual flight testing is the ultimate way to evaluate the performance of a radar system and collect data, but this approach poses a number of challenges, that includes high operational cost of flight testing a radar system using a real aircraft. Virtual flight testing is a faster and more cost-effective alternative for earlier stages of research and development, and by evaluating realistic flight testing scenarios before physical flight testing, engineers can validate electronic warfare algorithms earlier, saving both time and money. Oh,
Attention. 